Welcome back, my name is Teresa and I'm very much live for the time being. And if you're new here, welcome. I have an awful garbage, filthy mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. I know it's terrible of me and I should be stopped. But trust me, I hate me too. And if you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul. But I remember our time fondly. Oh, my little dumpling angels, have I missed your little sweet faces. I hope you're all doing very well, and I hope you are continuing to stay safe during these weird apocalyptic times. I'm so excited to be doing a new nonsense makeup bingo if you are new here. Hi, welcome, my name is Teresa. I'm a garbage person. These videos are in collaboration with the wonderful Emily Hanhan. Emily is the brainchild behind this wonderful concept and I'm just merely writing her coattails. We take a bunch of new makeup releases, use a random number generator, and basically just play bingo. And while we do so, we have a couple of adult libations and we talk very candidly about new makeup products, whether they tickle our fancy or not. If you are interested in playing, everything will be listed in the description box below. Feel free to play. We do have a playlist, so definitely add your video to it. With that said, I don't know why I'm getting this weird professional voice. <laughs> I started taking a couple of sips of my cocktail. I couldn't wait. Any hoosies, in this particular makeup bingo, I think we have about 40 or so images. So I'm gonna throw them up on the screen now. And without further ado, welcome to New Nonsense Makeup Bingo. Cheers, drink responsibly. Today's cocktail is in this beautiful reanimator cup. If you're in Philadelphia and you like coffee, go to reanimator. They are lovely. I think there's like maybe three or four locations and plus they have these really cool glasses. I need to get more of them because I just wanna drink out of these glasses constantly. But look, how on brand for me, right? I'm drinking a nice Tito's vodka and then I paired it with a lovely crystal light, no sugar added raspberry iced tea because you know, I'm trying to watch the figure. No, seriously, I am. I think it's the only good thing about this whole apocalypse right now is that been eating good and we've been trying to work out so I guess that's a good thing right with that said here is my bingo card that we're gonna be playing with tonight tonight I'm not even gonna lie right now it's 3 30 in the afternoon okay yes I'm getting shit-faced but the apocalypse is happening these things are allowable okay think of it like brunch except no food here's my bingo card so the first thing I get is oh Fenty Beauty so this is Fenty Beauty skincare I don't have anything else other than a picture of uh, Rihanna's beautiful face. That's it. All right. <laughs> Uh, what do we have here? We already used some skin products by the brand, which includes some lip scrub, lip balm, and the body lava, but that was just the beginning. Get ready for more skincare, soap, body, soap. Ooh, like, you mean like hand soap? You mean like, I'm gonna find soap in the apocalypse? That's kind of great. She needs to fucking step on it. Body, personal care, tools, accessories, perfumes, and perfumes are lost on me, and more. So here's the tagline, I guess. Skincare, it's the truth. It either works or it doesn't. There's nowhere to hide. That is very dramatic <laughs> for a fucking skincare company. Okay, um, I don't know anything about it other than like just seeing her face and you know, it's pretty and it looks very quaffed and fresh and clean. I'm intrigued, I wanna know more about it and I guess we'll know more about it when it comes out. So nothing on my bingo card, but um, good for you, Rihanna. Keep making soap, yay! Next. <laughs> The next thing is from Lunatic Cosmetics Lab. <laughs> All right. God damn it. You know what I get sad about? I get sad when people tag me <laughs> in Lunatic Lab stuff. I have a couple of palettes from them and they're just okay. Oh, it fucking kills me because the aesthetic is, is like, mm, it's me to a fucking T. I love that. But their products are like, the one thing though I have been meaning to get and I only want to get it when it's on sale because I don't want to spend $74 for a fucking contour book. I heard really, really good things about that and I want that. 
I just want that. But when it comes to their eyeshadows, I'm always disappointed. <sighs> I have two of their palettes and that is still too many. I want to like them, but I find that their eyeshadows are just like hard to work with. They're kind of patchy and very dry and it's just, not the kind of formula that I like. I know it's a personal preference thing and I know a lot of people do like them, but for me, it's just, eh, it just, it doesn't do anything for me. The palette, on the other hand, the outside of it looks so fucking cool. Like, it looks so good. I'm like, yes, bugging my makeup dick for days. I love that. And then I see the inside of the palette and I'm like, what is it? No, I'm like, no, what is this? <laughs> like, who, who told you this was okay? In all seriousness right now, I'm shopping for the apocalypse, okay? And I want to be very smart with my purchases. Especially if the world's ending, I'm going to look like a badass bitch Mad Max style. And I need to have people cower to me. Not just only for my girth, but I need them to cower for my face. And this eyeshadow palette wouldn't do that for me. If anything, people would just be like, ah, get out of the way, Anne, with an E. They would walk over me, they would know. Sorry for my Anne's with an E, it's very specific, but you know what I mean, we're boring. And for $42, this has to be the most boring eyeshadow palette I have ever fucking seen. And I've seen a lot of eyeshadow palettes, but this is by far the most boring that I've ever seen. It doesn't pass the apocalypse stamp of approval, unfortunately, so, uh, no, but it does pass on my bingo card. So we're going to call this boring as fuck neutral palette. Godspeed, lunatic. Godspeed. <laughs> the next one I'm going to pull is the bomb. The bomb actually has a couple of new products that are coming out and <sighs> sorry. Did, did you hear that? I'm sorry. Okay. This has to be the whitest thing I've ever seen. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Hold, please. Wait a second. Let me see what, what is exactly here. Some of the bomb products I don't mind. Like, I like the bronzer. They have a really good cool tone bronzer. At a certain point, it does get, like, reptilian, where it kind of has, like, these really weird bumps, and you don't know if something's just going to pop out of it and then burst into your chest. You know what I mean? So, uh, don't like that. But I do like their blushes. Do I reach for them? No, they're a really good formula, but it's not the thing that I uh, reach for. I have other things in my collection that, uh, that I don't know, just seem a little bit more attractive. Ooh, I hate saying it like that, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, ooh, I, I'm like, yes, I'm going to totally reach for this cover effects one. Bomb? Tomorrow. I swear to God, Bomb, I will wear you tomorrow. And then I just hope to God that they don't remember. You know? <laughs> Do you have that? Do you do that with your makeup? I do that all the time. I look at certain things, I'm like, don't worry, sweetie, tomorrow it's gonna be your day. And then I'm like, oh, thank God I got this eye irritation. I can't wear makeup for two days. You know what I mean? And, and hopefully they'll forget and then, you know, no? Okay, am I only one? All right, fine. The bomb has a couple of different things. Um, one is the beautiful eyeshadow palette, episode one. Kind of, maybe it's like a, a twinge more exciting than the Lunatic Lab stuff, but still basic as fuck. Then there is the Will Powder Blush Quad. And um, I mean, this one looks okay. You know, is it all blush? Can I see some swatches, please? One looks like a, a highlighter, but I can't really tell because it's supposed to be all blush. So I, I don't know. There are two blushes. It's a date and third date. Third date actually looks really pretty. It's a date, eh, I don't care about, but third date, I'm like, ooh. But then I look at it closer and I'm like, is it supposed to look like it has like bubbling things in it? I don't know. In the apocalypse, I'm not picking this up. But if there ever is another Ipsy Generation Beauty or an IMAX, if that even happens ever again, probably not because, you know, social distancing and all. But if it does happen, <laughs> And I do see the bomb, and they happen to do a 50% off sale like they always do at every convention I go to. I'll consider it. Sounds good? Other than that, no, I'm gonna pass on all of this. I don't I don't need this. This is not apocalypse now makeup. And with that said, I can't even mark this on my fucking bingo card. I already used the boring spot, so. Next. <laughs> All right, so the next one is from Menagerie Cosmetics, and I actually missed this. So I don't even think it's available anymore. This came out uh, at the end of March, and it is the Pastel Pup Palette, which immediately I'm going to mark this on my bingo card as a rainbow palette because it is a rainbow palette. Pastel palette, but it's a rainbow palette. I'm not into pastels. Like, I have, I feel like I have enough. I have the Sugar Pill one, which to me is a really good pastel palette. Uh, the Creepy Cute palette, that's a really good pastel palette, too. Oh, I have the fucking Pastel Goth palette from KBD Beauty. I have that. So, you know, I don't know, like, I like Menagerie Cosmetics. I think they have really good formula, but this pastel craze is just lost on me. 
Because how often am I really going to use pastels? You know, how much ecstasy am I really going to be taking when I feel like wanting to be like a rave kid? Like, eh, listen, I'm too fat and too old to take ecstasy. I can't do it. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't have a need for this. I'm going to pass on this. Next. Hi, sorry, I had to change the battery. I had to get myself a fresh drink. Mm. Brunch is delicious. So next one I pull is <sighs> Tatcha. My son Tatcha. I love Tatcha. I literally suck Tatcha's dick every day. They are fantastic. A lot of you guys ask me what I use for skincare. It's pretty much Tatcha. Tatcha is basically the thing that keeps me looking like a fat Polish boy. I love it. And when I first saw this, I was like, get the fuck out of here. You're charging $80 for some like upgraded packaging. And then I realized you get more product. And I was like, oh, uh, where's my credit card? <laughs> So I did purchase this. I love Tatcha, I think they're great. I'm so happy that I picked this up. It's definitely an apocalypse item that I need to have. So when I'm facing the zombies, at least I'll have really good fucking skin. So my bingo card is basically same shit, different packaging. Next. All right, so the next one I'm gonna pull is, oh, bitch. Bitch. Fuck me up. Mm -mm -mm. So give me Glow Cosmetics, which is fabulous, by the way. And if you ever have the opportunity to buy the Vintage Rose palette, fucking, it's fucking worth it. Worth every goddamn motherfucking penny. That, that palette's great. They came out with a single called Emerald City. <laughs> My heart skips a beat because it kind of reminds me a little bit, maybe, maybe a little bit more muted though. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the one green shade that was supposed to be in the Shane Dawson conspiracy palette that I still jerk off to because I really fucking want that shade. And now with Rona being here, who knows when we'll ever see that shade again. So when I saw this shade, I lost my shit. So I actually went on their website and did, I purchased this. <laughs> I purchased this and I purchased a couple of other things. This looks fantastic. I cannot wait to bathe my face in it and be the true bog witch that I am. So I look forward to that. Unfortunately, there's nothing on my bingo card that I can mark it, but just know that I'm very happy and this is apocalypse approved. Next. <laughs> All right. I pulled. <laughs> The Ulta Black Widow collection. First of all, does she even wear makeup? Does she ever? I don't think she ever wears any makeup. Which by the way, and I'm gonna say it, and I know people might disagree because you know, like women and everything, but she's the worst Avenger. Wait, actually, hold on, wait. She's the worst Avenger. Yeah, I stand correct. <laughs> There's nothing superhuman about her. She was raised to be an assassin, uh, whatever. She ain't no fucking Scarlet Witch bitch. That's all I'm trying to say, okay? Or ain't no Captain Marvel, all right? <sighs> With that said, this is a no for me. <laughs> and it's a no for me because it kind of gives me the vibes of like a shitty version of the Mulan palette from ColourPop. And I guess like their face palettes, dude, like the light one makes sense, but the, the dark one, who's that for? That shit would not fly for anyone who has medium or deep skin. So that's not inclusive. The lip stuff, there's maybe one color I'd be interested in. The vinyl lip glosses, nobody cares. So on my bingo card, this is the bundle deal that nobody wanted. Nobody wants this. Who the fuck asked for this? Other than probably like Disney that was just like, oh my God, we need to capitalize on this fucking Black Widow movie. We might as well just like make makeup. Oh, fuck out of here. This is boring. Boring the house. Fuck this shit. Next. So the next one I'm gonna pull is from Makeup Revolution. Honestly, the first time I saw this, I really thought that this was like some high-end shit because it kind of reminded me a little bit of Chantikai, especially with the pan design. Also kind of looks like Tarte in a way too. The actual palettes are really beautiful. And this is from the Revolution Pro line, right? Or is this just my, yeah, this is from the Revolution Pro line. So their little quads are, about $15 a piece. They look gorgeous. I would say, if anything, they are definitely a fucking copycat, giving me the vibes of like a higher end or like a mid range level brand. As much as I'm like loving that green quad, because I mean, who doesn't? <sighs> Revolution makeup is so hit or miss. I often find when I do get it, it's a huge miss. Every so often, like I'll get something that's like makeup dick approved and I love it. But majority of the time it's kind of like, eh, 
it's okay. Like I just kind of wasted my money on this. Eh. And I feel like these might be that too. Like they're very beautiful, but mm. so I'm gonna pass on this and I'm gonna call this major copycat vibes. <laughs> All right, so the next thing I'm gonna pull is from Too Faced. Yay, Too Faced. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Yay! So Too Faced is coming out with more stuff for their 2D fruity family. And this is only available on QVC. By the way, when I first saw that pineapple one, I was like, don't we already have this? But we don't though. I don't think. No, we don't, because it's a new edition. Why would we have that? Does this make any sense, Teresa? Get it together, sister. So there are two things in this collection. One is a papaya eyeshadow palette, and it's full of vibrant, high-intensity shades with extreme color payoff, and they are apparently have buttery soft texture. Um, you know, it's a nice little pinky color story. I feel like this color story just came out in February, like Love Palette and Smoky Glow and, and the other Valentine's Day stuff. So I'm kind of like, meh, not really into it. Now the strobing bronzer, I do have that in my collection. I like that, I really do. However, it's not my favorite bronzer when I compare it to the Bougie Tom Ford bronzer. I love that one. Or the Milani Cosmetics Silky Matte Bronzer, like that's fantastic. But for like a strobing bronzer, like it's definitely really good when it's like warmer weather and you kind of want to give the appearance that you like to step outside and get some sun. So I do love that about that bronzer. If this new bronzer is anything like the bronzer I've had in the past then it should be great. However the eyeshadow, I remember getting the green palette and being like meh about it. Like it was okay but it like wasn't worth the money. Like I definitely think a palette like this is probably more suited at like a $24 price range or a $19 price range. $34 you're, you're asking for a lot there mister and I'm not buying it. Is this a pop Apocalypse approved? No, you don't need this in the apocalypse. This is a no from me, dog. And with that said, on my bingo card, it's a food themed makeup release. Next! <laughs> So the next one I am going to pull is from Essence. This month, they are coming out with the High Beauty line. I love these brands that are like, fucking we need to make cosmetics with weed in it. Like I just, I love it. I love it so much. Oh my God. It's so good. So the new collection is called High Beauty and it basically has hemp seed oil. So you have a hydrating face primer, a caring lip, a caring lip balm, how adorable. Face mask, fixing compact powder, under eye brightening concealer, vegan volume mascara, and a mattifying makeup fixing mist. I'm intrigued. This tickles my dick a little bit because I love Essence mascaras. They are some of the best drugstore mascaras and it's $5. The only thing that I hate about Essence mascaras is that it dries out quickly. But you know what though? For $5, does it really fucking matter? Probably not. So I kind of want to try the volume mascara. I also kind of want to try the under eye brightening concealer because I'm always in the market for a concealer. I hate that I don't have a lot of drugstore options. I have a lot of high end options and my wallet doesn't like that. So I kind of want to find something else. So maybe, maybe this might tickle my asshole a little bit and I'll find it. Primers, I don't give a shit about. Or the face mask or the mattifying mist. Fucking, I don't need anything to be mattifying on me, all right? I am gonna be 35, all right? We need dewy all the way, bitch. Dewy, dewy, nothing less. So I'm intrigued with this. I do actually like their highlighters. It's one of the, it's actually the first highlighter I ever got was the Essence highlighter and it was great, it was great. And then I discovered that I wanted to be an alien slut and then I was like, what is this shit? But they were the initial catalyst to make me the slutty queen that I am today. So I have to thank them for that. I tip my hat to you, sir, and I love you. That said, I haven't heard anything else about this. There's no really updated date. Uh, and I'm guessing with the Rona, probably it's gonna be pushed back maybe a little bit, or it's gonna come out for 420. It'll probably come out for 420. In that case, I'm gonna pick out some of these things and I'll definitely do like a bite-sized review or something in the future. I get to mark this on my bingo card as the devil's lettuce. Next. So this is from Zodiac Cosmetics and funny story about this. So if you don't know my wonderful friend down here, Seeking Alexandria Page, fucking love her. She's literally my little sister from Michigan, from Northern Michigan, my land, okay? She <laughs> literally texted me and was like, bitch. <laughs> She's very aggressive in her text messages. Don't let her cute little persona fool you. She is aggressive, all right? She was like, bitch, did you see this? And I was like, what are you talking about? And she sends me the trend mood post. Now, funny story is that me and her are actually both Libras and we're very, very Libra. She's like, we have to get this. And I'm like, you know what? 
Bitch, you're right. So I placed an order with it because it was actually only $15 and it came yesterday. So I actually have it on the side of me right here. So why don't we do some live swatching? Um, this is the Libra palette. She cute. I love <laughs> the back of it. It just says if irritation occurs, discontinue use. That was actually the only time I've ever seen that say that. So I don't have a lot of faith right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be very honest, but you know what? I'm drunk, who gives a fuck? Oh, this is a Libra bitch. So this is the Libra palette. She cute, she's very, very pretty. I love how she has an inner corner highlight. I have an inner corner highlight. We're fucking twins. So when you open her up, you do get this nice little mirror here, and here is your palette. This is neutral as fuck, okay? This is very, very neutral, but you know what? It's very pretty. And honestly, I'm a little kind of upset though because online, it looks a lot more vibrant. Like there was this color right here, Triumph, looked like a lot more yellow and pan. All right, well, let's try some stuff. Ooh, they feel very, very smooth. I like that. Let's try, that's Triumph. Let's try Elusive. Ooh, let's try Balance. And let's try Money. Libras are money hungry. <laughs> no, we're not. What the fuck? Oh my god, I was just literally talking shit about this brand, but it's fucking really pigmented. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Okay. All right. What? I mean, this is also a little bit blown out too because my camera's on manual settings, but fuck my ass though. This is pretty fucking good. All right, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Let's try Faith. I'm gonna do the Jeffree Star thing. Just put it on my, oh, holy shit. All right, I'm gonna put it on my hand, but I don't think you're gonna see that though. Are you fucking kidding me right now? What the fuck? Okay, I, I need to not, all right, I'm not gonna flex my wrist because this is the wrist that hurts. I've been trying to not wear the fucking brace because <laughs> God only knows when I can have an MRI, so I'm not gonna flex my wrist, but holy shit though, that's crazy looking. Oh my God, you can't even see it on camera, but it's like yellow and blue. Oh my God, my dick is so hard right now and I'm pregnant, everyone in this building. All right, let's just try Triumph. Oh my God, what the actual fuck? Holy shit. Here I was gonna be talking shit about this. Oh my God, what? Oh bitch, I need to put this on my face. I can't, I can't stop staring at this one. This one's fucking fabulous. But here are the other swatches though. If I can get my money's worth over here. The actual shades are very, are very, very smooth. Wow. Wow. What the actual fuck? I can't, I can't even, I can't even. Holy shit. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Has to be a dud in this palette. All right, so the only two other shades to do is like the cream shades. All right, that's like my skin tone. Still very nice though. Color me fucking impressed right now. I am losing my mind. <laughs> This is absolutely fucking insane. These shades are, I can't even get over them. They're fabulous. I am crazy looking. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm gonna do a video on it. I'm gonna do like a get ready with me or some shit like that. We're gonna use that palette. I also have fucking Kim Chi Drama Queen over here. We're gonna use those two things, which actually I have it on my face right now. It's a highlighter. Still testing the little bitch out, but she's pigmented. But we're gonna do another, we're gonna do a get ready with me and we're gonna use those two products. Then I'll talk a little bit more about them. But with that said, if the swatches are gonna be any indication of how it is gonna perform, I'm fucking speechless. <laughs> But these swatches look fucking good though from a brand that I've never heard about. So mama's excited. I don't think I can mark this. Up. Oh no, no, I can mark this on my bingo card because this is literally a neutral palette with a pop of blue. <laughs> that's essentially what this little bitch is. It's a neutral palette with a pop of blue. And that's what we're gonna call her. Oh, I fucking love it. All right, let me clean up, but I'm excited. Fuck me up. Yes, please. <laughs> The next one I'm gonna pull is from Dior. Hi Dior, hi baby. Which by the way, I love the fucking ad for this. I don't know why, it's very 80s and I'm obsessed. But Dior is coming out with their, <laughs> what's so sad? It's their summer collection and it's supposed to be, <laughs> it was supposed to be created for the Olympic games that ultimately got postponed. I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> it's just sad, oh poor Dior. <laughs> I'm 
sorry, baby. That sucks. All right, all right. In this collection, you have blushes, eyeshadows, face powders, lip plumpers, double-ended shadow sticks, whatever the fuck that is, uh, lip balms, and nail polish. It's actually quite a few different things. They have these powders. I don't know what the fuck they are because they're not blushes. So I guess they're face powders, but they have such an interesting overlay on top of them that I'm intrigued. I want to know more about them. I mean, they look basic as fuck, but like they have a very, very beautiful embossing. I want to try their eyeshadows, but I'm not going to lie. When I see them in that compact, it one reminds me of the fucking pure trolls thing now. That's all I can think about. And I feel like it's probably not that great. I think I want to try like the backstage ones more than I want to try these eyeshadows. When it comes to the blushes, eh, they're okay. Like both colors do not speak to me, but the face powders do because I don't know what the fuck they are and they look intriguing. So my dick is semi hard. I want to know a little bit more about it. There is no release date on it. So God only knows when the fuck it's going to come out. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But on my bingo card, I can call this a basic product because Dior is basic, no offense, but with the pretty embossing, I'll take it. And with that said, I hit motherfucking makeup bingo and I'm so excited because I have to go to the bathroom really bad. <laughs> Let me know down below if you're gonna be picking up any of these products during the apocalypse or not. Let me know because I love hearing from you. And also let me know how you're doing and how you're feeling. Again, on an all serious note here, like I know it's all fun and games and shit, but again, I just wanna say that I love you all. I hope you are all safe. I'm doing okay. It is scary here. I'm not gonna lie, it's fucking terrifying, but we're doing our best and um, that's all we can do. My heart goes out to you and I hope you and your family are safe and well. And I hope you continue to be safe and well until this fucking thing is over. If you do have to go out, just be careful and take the proper precautions. And for my essential workers, thank you. Not a lot of people are saying it. I feel like, especially when you have to deal with the fucking public, and you're being mean and nasty to you, just know that I appreciate you. Actually, a lot of people do appreciate you. I'm just sorry that you have to deal with the dickheads that don't. I hope you guys continue to be safe and healthy. And for those that are sick, my heart is with you and I wish you a speedy, speedy recovery. I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Discord, Patreon. I have two podcasts podcast, one called Miserable 3 and the other one called Dead and Bored. And if you want to know what is currently on my face, everything will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Be safe. Bye.